the rule to draw another one from here. Let's take 100 millimeters from here. Let's pick a distance from here, 25 millimeters. In this case, we are drawing external targets. We're drawing external targets. Draw a circle from here. So it's single line. You come and pick 15 millimeters here. From here. This becomes external target. Now let's look at internal target. You use your wiper, your tissue to clean it so that the pencil does not stain on the drawing sheet. And let's look at internal targets, the basic, basic ones. Draw a line from here to here. Take a distance of 25. Well, no, this is unexpected. Because you are going to draw something in it. So now let's start here. Draw a circle. From here. After drawing the circle, after drawing the circle, they come and take 15 millimeters from here. 15 from here. Then it's supposed to touch the edge of this point here. So this becomes external target, this one becomes internal target. Let's put the two together and let's see how it works in a normal drawing. Let's put them together and let's see how it works. And this time, what you are going to do is that you are going to draw a center distance line of 100 millimeters. A center distance of 100 millimeters. A center distance of 100 millimeters. Let's use each pencil. 100 millimeters. 100 millimeters from here. 100 millimeters from here. From here. 100 millimeters from here. And we can take a radius of 35 millimeters. A radius of 35 millimeters. A radius of 35 millimeters. From this point here. Come and stand here. Draw your circle from this direction. Draw the circle. See, I've intentionally made some aspect very outline and some aspect a thin line because I know exactly what we are going to do. Now let's tap this one down by 10 millimeters. Let's tap it down by 10 millimeters. Let's tap it down by 10 millimeters. Let's tap it down by 10 millimeters. And let's take a distance of about 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters from here. Come and stand at this point here. Come and stand at this point here. Stand at this point. Draw a circle. So you can see that some of the aspects of. So this uh, aspect uh, of increasing this one I've brought this one down by 20, 10 millimeters so this is we call it R just call it a distance D of 10 10 and the distance from here from here let's call it small r 20 millimeters here let's call it bigger r t 
35 millimeters from there now we are going to do the target internal and external so now let's take the external internal one right so let's pick a center the tangent and line of tr equals 15 115 right that is internal internal so with the internal what we need to do is that we have to subtract 115 from uh, the 35 here right and with this one for us to draw an arc here you have to also subtract this one from this so we are going to have 80 that is from here going upwards here. so this case this one too for us to also to draw up here you have to subtract 115 from 20 and we are going to have 95 so with that let's take the 80 millimeters the distance of 80 millimeters 80 millimeters 80 millimeters from here 80 millimeters from here now let's start at the midpoint from here do an arc up downwards right now we come and take the 95 95 what is the 95 95 95 from here from this point let's bisect it here. let's bisect it from here so with that we can have this point the two bisected so stand at here open to 100 and 115 115 this 100, 105, 111, 115. Take the right measurements. See that this one's supposed to fall here. supposed to be a single line good so that is this one becomes the internal one and let's look at the external one so the tangent radius of 115 then in this case external external we have to add them so 45 Oh, this is 45 the tangent radius here is 45 45 plus 35 gives you 80 that is for the big one and the small one 45 plus 20 will give you 65 for the small one, all in millimeters so we take the same 80 from here We come and stand here in the same 80. It's on the line, right? The same 80. Then the 65. We come and stand here, take a distance of 65 millimeters or 6.5 centimeters on the road. Now come here by set. So you see that the centers have, the two us have meet, and there's a center here. So before you draw this external tangent, you have to take the distance of the tangent radius of 45. The tangent radius of 45. So taking the tangent radius of 45, you can come here and come and take the distance of me. All your measurements supposed to be right. Good, 45. So a ton of here, here, here. Just open. Oh, double lines. That's really bad, really bad. You don't need to have a double line. 
as if you are drawing it and it's opening. We're going to have a double one. So that is that. So now let's dip in this side. Dipping it, you have to be very cautious so that you don't have a double line. You have to be very cautious. This is the first. So see after I finish, you can move raise this. Use the tissue, a white and get to clean. It. So you could see that we have internal targents in here and external targents. And look at what we have developed. See, if you have any question, you can drop it down at my inbox. I'll answer it to you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.